Hey everybody, welcome to Michigan Out of Doors. Thank you so much for joining us this week and Happy New Year to all of you watching on New Year's Day. Hopefully you're getting to spend some time with friends and family. And on this week's show, we're going to show you what really has started to become a tradition here at the end of the year here at Michigan Out of Doors. That's right, Jimmy. We're showing you our year in review this year where we take a look month by month at the entire year of Michigan Out of Doors episodes and we'll highlight all the great things there are to do in this state 12 months out of the year. Make sure you stay tuned for this exciting episode. I'm Jenny Olson. And I'm Jimmy Gretzinger. It's time for Michigan Out of Doors. From the first spring rains to the soft summer breeze, dancing on the pine forest floor. The autumn colors catch your eyes. Here come the crystal winter skies. It's Michigan, Michigan out of doors. Someday our children all will see this is their finest legacy wonder and the love of Michigan as the wind comes whispering through the trees the sweet smell of nature's in the air from the Great Lakes to the quiet stream shining like a sportsman's dream it's the love of Michigan we all share Michigan Out of Doors is presented by by Greenstone Farm Credit Services, making recreational land ownership possible across Michigan and Northeast Wisconsin. Begin your land financing journey at one of Greenstone's 37 locations or visit greenstonefcs.com. By Meyer, a destination for hunting, fishing, and camping. From bug spray and tents to GPS and gas, Meyer has nearly everything you need to take on nature and get you there. Meyer. By Showspan, producing consumer shows including the Ultimate Fishing Show, Detroit, January 8th through 11th at Novi's Suburban Collection Showplace. The show features fishing tackle, fishing trips, fishing boats, and seminars on all Michigan game fish. The Ultimate Fishing Show, Novi, January 8th through 11th. By Country Smokehouse, offering a variety of meat products, Country Smokehouse is located three miles south of I-69 on M53, just south of Imlay City. Country Smokehouse is a meat processor, a butcher, and a destination for sportsmen. As the sun began to set, we finally had a mature doe work her way within range. Ran right underneath them too. We had too many deer come out and they were on top of us. The sun, it's just a beautiful night, the sun come out, but unfortunately the deer started to see our breath. So we were stared down multiple times and finally this doe kept coming up. And even though me and Jordan have been dodging icicles from these trees, we somehow survived that, um, but that helped us because the deer had gotten used to this noise. Um, but finally, uh, I, I thought I had my safety off, but I didn't, so I had a glitch, but then we uh, regained our composure, and I think we thumped her, and we're gonna be eating venison. The shot was perfect, and a short blood trail led us right to Ed's doe, the perfect end to a great night of deer hunting. God blessed us tonight. I'm with good company, Jordan, and you couldn't ask for a more peaceful night. The sun come out late um, and just glistened across the food plot and the deer, and she finally gave us a shot. My safety didn't go all the way off, but uh, I kind of sucked it up and redid it and let her fly, and uh, we put a good hit on her, and we killed an amazing animal. Here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go. Right there, big, big northern. Hurry up, Jordan, hurry up, hit him, hit him. That's a, that's a 40 inch northern, dude. That's a 40 inch fish. Yes, sir, big pike, big pike, dude. 40 incher, big pike. Yeah, buddy, 40 incher, baby. How fast yeah. did that happen? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Good stick, too. How He's, fast did that happen? Yeah, dude. He's every bit of 37. Ooh. I bet he's pushing 40. Ooh. 
Good he got play. it done. I don't believe it. He got it done. Go three strikes. Solid, solid fish too. Perfect shot on this one. He struggled pulling it out of the out of the hole a little bit. But what what a morning. We've seen so many fish. We had a nice one come in. We were trying some cute camera angles with the GoPro and had just a I can't blame Jordan again for that first swing and a miss. It was you could see the spear deflected and then after that miss we've sat an hour and a half without seeing a fish. We went from a fish in the hole non-stop to nothing. And we're sitting here talking and I'm just laying it on him and I happened to look on the camera and I could see just the nose. This is a hogfish, he's pushing 40. I'm gonna say we're gonna get 37 out of it anyway. Great first fish. Woo, woo. Unbelievable. It, my bike spearing mission has been hysterical at times and frustrating at times, but to cap it off with this fish, a giant fish, I won't say it's as big as the one I missed last year, but it's in that same ballpark. Nice. This is heaven right now. I haven't, been successful on the ice for walleyes in a few years now and this is one of my favorite things to do. Ray, thank you for taking me out here. This is cool. They're only getting bigger though. This seems like one of the smaller ones from the pictures you showed. Yeah, that's... And we just saw, what do you think, this is six or seven pounds? Yeah, it's maybe? probably six. Okay. And we just saw one over there that we think is about ten pounds that was caught. So, you gotta get them back in the water, right? Yeah. I mean, not this, but the lines. Lines, yeah. <laughs> Let's get fishing. Fish. Sweet! Now, I'm not complaining, but my fishing time was seriously affected by all the walleyes that started coming in. It was on fire out here, and I couldn't put the camera down. Nice. Oh, nice, Ray. Hold that thing up. <laughs> on that lure lure I showed you. Yeah? That Cleo. Ray hauled in a 28-incher, and his buddy Tim Riley was amazed at these hogs. Getting excited? Getting excited. It's going to be a pretty day out here. It's going to be All a great right. day out here. Right. That's for sure. This was just amazing. Ray had another one on. I don't know if I've ever seen the walleye fishing this good through the ice. It was just incredible to see not only the quantity, but the quality of fish out here on Lake Erie. And that's when Bruce Oleski connected with a perch and it was game on. <laughs> you are just into the fish, Bruce. Well, we got out here this morning and I scouted this spot yesterday and I tell you what, it was loaded with birds. This morning we come in here, we hardly hear a gobble. Yeah. And we're sitting in here talking about how bad this spot sucks and all this stuff and all of a sudden we see a hen off to the right. Jimmy sees a hen off to the right and it didn't, 10 seconds after that, we can hear one drum, drumming behind the blind. And he come around the right side of the blind and he went within four yards of that blind. and. Uh, me and Thomas are sitting here with our eyes closed so he doesn't see us and he struts out through the thick brush and Charlie had he showed great patience man because we had we, he was in range the whole time but the bird just yeah. wasn't wasn't a clear shot and he did a great job waiting until he had a good clear shot at that bird and he just smoked him and that thing's got some hooks on it
With the birds in range, I slowly moved from the camera to the gun and got ready to make the shot. <laughs> oh. That was a classic turkey hunt. We are, what, 15 minutes from having to pull the plug on this hunt because we have to get back and get packed up and get our stuff and head to the plane to fly back <laughs> over today. And so George and I have been playing around with this flock of birds uh, for two days now on the other side of the street. And we have access on this uh, golf course here. We've been hearing some birds. We heard some goblin over here this morning. Well, let's see what we got. And we messed around all morning over there and said, you know what? Last spot, let's just go over to the over to the golf course and see if we couldn't get some birds going. And we haven't had anything gobble all day. And right over the hill where we set up, two birds gobbled, responded, and just worked perfect. Beaver Island in the rain. <laughs> so here's your regular jig, no stinger hook. We like to use a stinger hook to catch the fish shirt. Our light bite or just don't want to bite. So what we've got is a special stinger hook that we designed, a signature series stinger hook. So basically what it is, is it's a stinger hook. Uh, we use a high quality size eight treble hook. So there's our little high quality round bend treble hook. And there's a slip knot on the end. And all we do is take that slip knot, put it over the hook, go ahead and pull it tight, and we leave it hang. We don't hook it into the worm, we let it hang here. So now the lightest part of the whole presentation is that stinger hook, fish can get that stinger hook in his mouth without having to suck in the jig or the worm. If we want to take it off, if we want to change worms or something happens, we simply grab the sleeve, Pull it open, the slip knot opens, we pull it off the hook, we get everything changed, we go ahead and put the slip knot back on, pull it tight, and away we go. Very efficient, very easy to use. We use a high, high abrasion resistant monofilament line, very, very light stinger hook, so it floats back here. That's the lightest part of the package. Fish can suck that in, you catch a lot of fish. I tell you, probably about 60% of the fish my clients catch come on a stinger hook, probably about 40% of the fish I catch. So it's a big help down here in the river in this heavy current. Let it hang back here. Fish can suck it in. You catch a lot more fish by using the right stinger hook every time you're down here on the Detroit River jigging in heavy current. Well, Lance put us right on the spot. <laughs> Didn't even get the trolling motor down. Pull the fish up. That's what a good captain will get you. All right. A good captain indeed. I was able to hook one before we called it a night out here too. Special thanks to Lance Valentine for taking the time to show even these seasoned anglers that there's always room to improve and something new to learn out here in Michigan's Out of Doors. In the 1950s, there was a big explosion down in the basement of the lighthouse, um, which was the final straw. And after that, they decided to, uh, to fully automate the lighthouse so they didn't have to man it anymore. The Standard Rock Lighthouse is a piece of Michigan history, and it also happens to mark what is likely the best spot in the state to catch trophy lake trout. John has been fishing Standard Rock for nearly two decades, and although he does a variety of other trips around the area, there's no doubt that fishing the rock is the main draw for a visiting angler. I've been going out to the rock now for nearly 20 years. Um, I've been fishing it really consistently now uh, for about the last 15 years. Um, I started actually running charter boats uh, just right out of college for another guy after I got my captain's license and I ran a number of boats out there for about eight years, um, averaging usually about 15 to 20 trips a year. Um, and I did that up and through about five years ago when we ended up starting daybreak charters. Um, and for the last five years now, um, we've averaged between 25 and 35 runs a year out to Standard Rock. Um, so it's, it's definitely a place, it's, it's the big draw, it's, it's a place that people come from all over the country. Uh, we get people from Florida and California and, and all different corners of the country to, to fish out at Standard Rock. We ended the day having landed over 75 Lakers, and although we were never able to land one of the giants that Standard Rock is known for, it was still an exceptional day on the water. Special thanks to John and the rest of the crew for having me on board today and helping me cross off something that should be on every Michigander's bucket list. Beautiful. Well, congratulations, young man. Thank you. <laughs> it took a while, but we finally got another one. What a beautiful fish. Yeah.
Eric and Trent swapped back and forth throughout the day for the front of the boat, and it was Eric who had the coolest bite I think I'd ever seen, topwater muskie. <laughs> Way to go! You've been working for that fish. <laughs> Took me all day. <laughs> Watch that line up there. Oh, yeah. Don't get me now. Yeah, don't point him at the boat, Eric. Don't point, lead him away because he'll jump right in. Try not to spin him. Just put his head away from the boat. I just had to show you this one more time. This fish just destroyed this bait coming out of the water to get it. It was an awesome evening. Well, how many how many casts did that take today for you? Yeah, that's a fish. Well, like about three million. <laughs> <laughs> what did they say? Ten thousand casts? I think you were pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> Good old Your dad would be proud. <laughs> well, I know Eric's dad was proud, as were all of us in the canoe. It was a very unique kind of fishing, and to have a few fish taker offerings, well, it was a trip I won't soon forget. They don't get any closer than that. No, they look big to me. <sighs> I think they all look big at five yards. Nice job. He's got a big head on him. I've been a part of a lot of bear hunts, but none that had my heart pumping quite like that. The bear crossed just feet in front of me and was a whopping four yards from us when Josh pulled the trigger. What an incredible way to cap off a great day of bear hunting. A bear that we hadn't seen before appeared out of the thick swamp and into Roy's shooting lane. Now things were getting exciting. yards in laying right there. Oh that's so cool. So how did it feel walking up on your first bear? Uh, trying not to get trampled by everybody else was kind of fun. It was, <laughs> it was there was event. there were so many people there it was a great social event. <laughs> I mean it was unbelievable the amount of support you get when you come out here. Got a double on. Oh, he's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh! Oh! What do you got over there, Joe? Oh! They're coming up to eat. Nice fish. That is a big. That's a good double. There. Good job, Molly. boys! Woohoo! As the sun set, we headed for the cabin. All three boats that we had on the lake tonight did well. And like most good camps, the camaraderie around the dinner table was just as important as the fishing. A good dinner was not far away, and the lies and stories, well, they just kept coming. No state records tonight, but we had a perfect Michigan night on good water. And really, it doesn't get much better than that here in Michigan's Out of Doors.
well there he is folks nice nine pointer and uh might even call him a 10 right here i'm not sure if you count that or not but it's a nine in my book and i'll tell you what i am pleased as punch he's not real wide at all man he is tight but he's got tall tines and i'll tell you what he gave me a great hunt her to have the perfect situation I didn't want to have any mistakes so I wanted just to do everything right if the shot wasn't there we weren't going to take it you know I was confident in that that um, you know I've talked to her enough that if it what didn't feel right even if they were standing out in the open we weren't going to shoot as we waited to see if the elk would close the distance Hannah became more and more comfortable with the shot and after a short discussion we decided that this was probably our best opportunity at this group of elk and with a large cow separating herself from the group, we decided it was time to take the shot. You got it. Okay, put it on again. It's right there by itself. Put it on. You can get it on the shoulder. You can get it behind the shoulder. Go ahead and lay it in there. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. It's, it's dead. You just, you just take your time. And you put it right on the shoulder. Nice you got it. Don't shoot. That's good. <laughs> you got it. Put safety on. Dude. Oh, oh. 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 Oh, here. Oh. Oh. Yes. Put her there. I'm oh, sorry, I got your glasses. Turn around and tell us what you think. <laughs> Good job. Way to go. Let's see that elk dance. Yeah, now we got to see the elk dance. I can't do an elk dance. That's a long shot. <laughs> you just made a 220 yard shot on an elk, and you've never shot anything other than a turkey. Thanks for joining us this week for Michigan Out of Doors. And once again, Happy New Year to everybody. And thank you for joining us throughout the entire year for Michigan Out of Doors. Thanks for all of your support as viewers. And we thank PBS for all they do for Michigan Out of Doors and outdoor programming on public television. That's right. In Michigan Out of Doors, we really never really stop here throughout the year. And so next week, we start right back up. 2015, all new episodes or as many as we can try to pull off in a year. So next week, we're going to have some goose hunting that happened in kind of early to mid-December. We also have a dog trial and a ride along with a conservation officer so it never stops here at Michigan Out of Doors because you the sportsman never stop here in the state of Michigan and we're here to tell your story and if we don't see it in the woods or on the water hopefully we'll see it right back here next week on your PBS station. Michigan Out of Doors is presented by by Jay's Sporting Goods with locations in Clare and Gaylord. Jay's serving the Michigan outdoor enthusiast since 1971 with a wide variety of outdoor products. The gear, the knowledge, the tradition of Jays on the web at jayssportinggoods.com. By Chappelle, providing sleds, shelters, and accessories for your time on the ice. Chappelle offers a line of pop-ups, flip-overs, and the Bay Runner, a mobile cabin with a shelf for electronics and a sliding seat. On the web at chappelle.com. By Propane, exceptional energy. Propane retailers promote the safe use of Michigan-produced gas energy in homes, farms, and businesses across our great state. Learn more at usemichiganpropane.com. By Meyer, a destination for hunting, fishing, and camping. From bug spray and tents to GPS and gas, Meyer has nearly everything you need to take on nature and get you there. Meyer. Closed captioning is brought to you by Propane Exceptional Energy. Propane retailers promote the safe use of Michigan-produced gas to outdoor enthusiasts across our great state. When I want a far away, a dream stays with me night and day. It's the road that leads to my home state. I am a Michigan man. Changing seasons paint the scene like rainbow trout in a hidden stream. The white-tailed deer in the tall pine tree. I am a Michigan man I am, I am a Michigan man Ask where I'm from and I'll show you my hands 
Lord above. 